Happy Ferry with Sims Fishing Products. Standing in the lovely Dakota Angler in downtown Rapid City with my boy, Hans Stephenson. How you doing, Hans? Good. How you doing, Tony? I'm, I'm great, man. You've got a lot of fancy G3 product do. on there. I do. And look at that in your hand. That's the new Sims G3 guide boot. It is. Well, I figured since you got all this fancy G3 on, let's talk about the G3 guide boot. Um, just the boot itself. Uh, still borrowing a lot of the heritage heritage and design from the G3 series at Sims. I'm just going to undo these laces. Yep. Um, the G3 is fully neoprene wrapped on the inside to slide in and out. Sure. Really easy with your neoprene stocking feet. We do put a little D-ring for hooking in with your gravel guards. Still have the waterproof Nubuck leather that's silicone impregnated so mm -hmm. it doesn't dry out. It stays pretty soft and flexible. You know, over the last few years, we've really did a lot of studying on materials, and this scratch rubber construction seems to be the most durable and burly product that's on the market. Right. So we really wanted to apply that to kind of our guide series sure. boot. Um, you'll notice we're still using the Vibram outsole. Got a really new, cool heel pull, uh, which is built right in, double double bar tacked. So you can tug on that to nice. get the boot on and off, or certainly for getting it on. Right. Um, we've added an additional eyelet down low on the boot, Hans. So when you're lacing this thing up, you can get that really true like hiking boot feel of a heeled or really called lace-to-toe design. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to drop in locking hardware where it starts to move up the leg. So I can kind of cinch it down tight, maybe walk around in the parking lot a little bit, make sure the boot's fitting right, right. and then finish lacing it up. Fantastic. One of the things that <clears throat> I had in my bag of tools was this, which is called a component ring of how this boot's made. Sure. Um, so from the outsole itself, we're using a four millimeter thick Vibram sticky rubber outsole. Um, our lug patterns have changed a little bit. You know, we, we pride ourselves on our boot construction. You know, sometimes people are going to want to put a stud or a cleat in a right. boot. And what we've done is move those placements just on the inside of the edges. We feel that this is going to improve the cleat retention, okay. maybe about 70%. And that's just from the foot torquing and twisting. Sure. We're not walking on golf courses ultimately, right. so there's a lot of uneven surfaces. Uh, we still have the 90 degree lug patterns. So as the sole starts to wear down, you still have a sharp biting edge. Uh, reinforced toe and heel. The, the sole itself is getting closer to a true like running sole. Uh, integrated toe bumper, heel bumper, and both lateral and medial support uh, really encapsulating the foot and keeping it nice. stable. From there we move into the drop-in EVA midsole. So this is injection, injection molded, uh, again kind of like a running shoe, it's right. super light. Um, these orange guys, these are when you lay that into the sole, they coordinate oh, to where your placement. stud and cleats would go. And these act as a back, like a stud in a wall. Sure. Like if you were to put a screw into a piece of sheetrock and there's no stud behind it, you could back it right out with your fingers. Right. But if it hits a stud, it grabs it sure. and holds it. So it gives those threads something to bite into. We also, again, put an asymmetrical heel clip built into this. So again, giving you more support on the inside of your ankle, less twist. But as those fancy laces and that locking system gets your heel in place, it keeps it nice and quiet. Sure. From there, we move to a dual density drop-in footbed. Uh, it's soft and flexible in the front, so it bends like the human foot, yet firm in the heel. So right. heel strike, you're kind of known for jumping off, you know, trees oh, yeah. and you yeah. know, get a little crazy out yeah, there. Right, yeah, right, right. So you know, you're a big guy. You come down hard. Uh, that'll help absorb any kind of impact from okay. coming up and maybe bruising your heel. Sure. So G3 guide boot available in both felt as well as the Vibram rubber soles. Those will come in at $229 and uh, I bet you'll have a couple of pair here at the shop. We certainly will and you can check those out at flyfishsd.com. Thank you. Thanks.